Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we're coming at you with a quick little eye tutorial. I was just sitting down and doing a quick eye look using the Urban Decay Naked World West palette. If you guys don't know already, I'm super obsessed with this. I just think like, I just think the colour combo, 10 out of 10. The formula is incredible. I've always done a video using this palette on my channel, I'll link it below. But I was just sitting doing this makeup look. It is inspired by a super bomb makeup artist from the UK called Saskia Field. This look is directly inspired by her. I'll put her look on the screen somewhere, give her a good follow. And yeah, I just wanted to sit down and do my makeup. I wanted some tunes on, I was just sitting chilling, so it is a voiceover which is really different for me. Let me know what you guys think of the voiceover style. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if the day was the day you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me, of course, and yeah. Let's get into this full tutorial. Okay guys, I'm starting off using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. You guys know I love this because it totally blanks out the lid and makes every colour really pop on top. I'm going to just work that into my eyes with a fluffy brush just to make sure it's super seamless and is the perfect flawless blank base for any shadow to go on top of. Take your time with this, it'll make all your blending so much easier in the long run. Take a little bit of my blusher and just push it through the temples for a transition into my cheeks and then I'm going in with the shade Ghost Town. This is a really nice warm brown and I'm just stamping it onto the outer corner of my eye and the inner corner to create that really nice disconnected spotlight shape. I'm really packing that on so that it's super pigmented and make sure I'm happy with the shape. And then I'm going to take a fluffier brush and I'm going to just start to diffuse the edges. I've added a little tiny bit more of that shadow but I'm keeping it quite low. Just really blend that out, really soft and really seamless. Then we're going to darken things up a little bit. I'm taking the darker brown matte shade Whiskey and I'm going to just place that in the same place as I put Ghost Town but a little bit lower down and a little bit more concentrated in colour. This is really going to give the spotlight shape that little bit extra dimension. If you don't want it super dark and smoky, you could skip this step and just keep it with Ghost Town, but I wanted this to have a whole lot of depth. Now I've got my spotlight shape. I'm going to go in with the shade Bud, this gorgeous metallic teal. And I'm going to spray that with my all nighter setting spray. I always love to wet my shimmers. I just think it gives it a whole lot more pigment and intensity. And then on my ring finger, I'm taking a little bit of that silver shade Cowboy Rick and just placing that over top just to give that teal a little bit extra sparkle and again, a little bit more dimension. Now for the wing, guys, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Perversion Fine Point Pen and I'm just starting to map out my wing. You guys know I struggle with winged liner, but I found that if I start from below and give myself a rough guide shape, I can really get that wing shape for my eye shape. What's best to do is don't go too big too soon. Start little and work your way up until you're happy with the shape. Remember you can always add, but it's so hard to take away, especially with a black liner. But as you can see, I've took my time and got a really nice wing shape that'll suit my more kind of hooded eye shape. Then I'm taking the shade Tex. I love this colour, this matte teal. And I'm just using that to press over top of where I put that wing so that I can get a nice teal smoky liner going into black. I like to use a double ended brush that comes with the palette for this part because I can go back in with my transition shades and just really blend the teal into the warm brown so that it is super seamless and the blend is really smooth. Then I took my Perversion 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and I ran that in my lower lash line and smoked out with the teal. You'll see that this gives you a really nice lower lash line smoke, nice and grungy, you know I love this. Then once I popped on mascara, I've put on some lashes just to amp up the look with a little bit of drama. And that's us. Okay, there we have it. The look is done. I've got my lashes on. I'm feeling full beat and ready to go. Obviously, this was a more kind of in-depth look focused on the eyes. So let me know what you guys think of that. Let me know as well what you think of the kind of voiceover style because it's obviously something I'm really new to. But if you like it, I can do more of these because it's actually quite easy to just sit, get the music on, have a good time and beat the face. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I will also link this palette below because you guys know I am obsessed with this. I have got an affiliate link with Urban Decay, so I will put the palette below. And yeah, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, let's make sure today is the day you hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell so you don't miss any future uploads from me. My other social medias will be on the screen somewhere. I would love it if you gave me a good follow. But yeah, I'm going to jump off now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.